All right. Good morning and welcome to uh, Master Talker Online class. Today, we'll be talking about um, differentiation, continuation of differentiation. Okay, now we've done uh, the definition of differentiation and the standard derivatives. Okay, then that's the first video. Then the second video is uh, the chain rule. So we are still in the rules. So the next rule we're going to talk about is the product rule. The product. Now, for the product rule, it's very simple. It said that if y is a function, is a function of u and equally a function of v, okay? Two, two, um, and these two things are still function of x. Please don't forget. They are still function of x, okay? Okay. So, uh, don't mind what I'm writing. Okay, it's very simple that um, chain rule, uh, product rule said that dy dx is simply um, leave the first one u, differentiate the second one, I'm going to have dv dx plus leave the second one v, differentiate the first one, as simple as that. So this is the formula. So the shortcut is this thing I said now. The shortcut is simply, now let me write this in very well. It said that y is equal to u, u, v. Forget about all those rubbish I wrote, okay? U, v. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, u, v. Okay? So it says that um, leave the first one, differentiate the second one, plus leave the second one, differentiate the first one. If you can see it, you can do it. Remember in our chain rule, chain rule said differentiate the bracket, differentiate everything. But this one is saying, leave the first one, differentiate the second one, plus leave the second one, differentiate the first one. So let us do that. An example will help us. So the first example we are going to look at, sorry for cleaning this, um, I'm, I'm having the first example that y is equal to 2x plus 5, okay, into um, 3x squared minus 2x minus 5. Okay, this is that. We want to differentiate this, this for a polynomial. I want to differentiate this, okay? I will say let u be the first one, which is 2x plus 5. Then v will now be the second one, which is what? Um, 3x squared minus 2x minus 5, okay? Now, these two will give me what? du dx, which is what? Differentiating 2x, I'm having 2. Differentiating a constant is 0. So dv dx is equal to what? Multiply by the power, remove one from the power, 6x. This one is minus 2. The other one is 0. Okay, since I've gotten this one, my answer now said dy dx is saying u, leave the first one, u dv dx plus v du dx. As simple as that. Note that if you call u, you will not say dv. But if you call v, you will say du. So the formula says what? u dv dx plus v du dx. So let us substitute u first. u is what? 2x plus 5. Okay? Uh, sorry. dv dx is what? 6x minus 2. Plus v. v is what? 3x squared minus 2x minus 5. Okay? du dx is what? 2. So let us clear the bracket. This time this will give you um, 12x squared this time this will give you minus 4x. This time this will give you plus um, 6 times 5, 30x. Okay? And this time they will give you minus 10. Okay? Plus 2 times this I'm having 6x squared. 2 times this I'm having 4x. 2 times I'm having minus 10. Okay? So let's go. You add all the x, all the x squared. 12 plus 6 will give you 18. So I'm having 18x squared. Now let's go to all the x. Minus 4 plus 30 will give you plus 26. Plus 26 minus another 4 will give you plus 22. So I'm having plus 22x. Let's go to constant. Minus 10 minus 10 will give you minus 20. As simple as that. So but let us use the shortcut to do that. The shortcut said if y is equal to... Um, 2x plus 5, okay, into 3x squared minus 2x minus 5. So dy dx said, now, leave the first one, 2x plus 5. Differentiate the second one, which will give you what? 
uh, 6x minus 2 plus now leave the second one 3x squared minus 2x minus 5 now differentiate the first one i'm having two okay as simple as that leave the first one differentiate the second one plus leave the second one differentiate the first one so i'm going to have what if you clear the bracket here and do everything you are going to get the same answer here which is 18x squared plus 22x minus 20 so the same answer so please don't forget it if you can say it that is when you can do it but if you cannot say it you cannot do it okay so let me solve another example another example here says um, that if that if y is equal to that if y is equal to sine x cos x then we should find dy dx okay so sine x cos x normal method now product rule means product means when two things are together okay two different things stay together that is when you will know that is a product rule but in general rule is just one thing that is arranged in another way but product rule they must be, they must be two okay i uh have -huh. so now what do we have here uh we now have um we we'll say let u be equal to what sine x comma then v will now be the second one cos x so these two will give me what du dx which is what cos x comma this one will give me what dv dx which is what minus sine x please know your standard rule uh, your standard uh, derivative so that you can know you will remember that uh, sine x is cos x and cos x is minus sine x so once you have gotten the two of them your dy dx is simply u i told you if you say u the next thing you are saying is what dv dx plus you now say v the next thing you are saying is what du dx so so substitute to have what u is what u is sine x okay and dv dx is what minus sine x plus v is what v is cos x and um dv dx is what huh sorry v is what cos x okay du dx is what another cos x so what do we have now now sine times sine i'm having minus sine squared x plus what cos squared x please i told you that instead of writing um minus one plus two just say two minus one they are the same thing okay so let me arrange this very well to become cos squared x minus sine squared x according to trigonometry is them are saying cos 2x not squared now but 2 cos 2x okay uh, if you don't know trigonometry go to my video on trigonometry to know that okay the next one we are going to solve number three for product rule number three is um i have that y is equal to 4e raised to power 2x then sine x okay we want to combine exponential and trigonometry now okay or let me even say sine sine 4x something like this now this one is combining chain rule with product rule okay we have not used the shortcut to solve it uh, to solve this so let's use shortcut to solve this so y is equal to i said leave the first one sine x differentiate the second one cos uh, differentiation of cos is what minus sine x plus leave the second one cos x differentiate the first one differentiation of sine is what cos x again you see using short cut is the best this time this is minus sine squared x plus what cos squared x so i'm having cos squared x minus sine squared x which will give me what cos 2x so the shortcut is even the simplest leave the first one differentiate the second one plus leave the second one differentiate the first one so let's do the normal method here the normal method here we said let u be this one 4 e raised to power 2x okay then my v will now be what sine 4x so now these two will give me du dx which is what now please be careful this is chain rule differentiate the bracket before differentiating everything differentiation 2x is 2 so that two will come to the back here to have what 2 times differentiating 4 e raised power something is 4 e raised power that thing okay which will finally give you 
8 e raised to the power 2x. Now, the v, the x here, chain rule again. Differentiate the bracket here, I'm having 4. Before differentiating sign something, which will give you what? Cos that thing. So it's now 4 cos 4x. Okay. So my answer is now dy dx is equal to what? If you say u, you will say dv dx. Plus, you will not say v before you say the u dx. So it's u dv dx plus v du dx. So u 4e raised to power 4x. Okay, sorry, 2x. Mm -hmm. dv dx, dv dx is 4, uh, 4 cos 4x. Okay, plus v, v is sine 4x. Okay, into du dx is 8 e raised to power 2x. Okay. So the only thing we do now is factorization. Let us factorize. But before that, this time this is giving me 16. Okay, so let me factorize. 8 is common between this line and this line. Or uh, before that, this time this is what? 16 e raised to power 2x. Okay, cause 4x. Then please, trigonomet trigonomet uh, exponential should come to the back. Plus 8 exponential 2x sine 4x. Now let us factorize. If you factorize, 8 is common between here. I'm bringing out 8. E raised to power uh, uh, 2x is still common. I'm bringing out e raised to power 2x. Now, what is the remaining here? 8 divided by this, I'm having 2 cos 4x is remaining. Plus, what is remaining here is only sine 4x. And that is the answer. Okay, so let's use shortcut to solve it. This one is too long. Let's use shortcut. So the shortcut says that y is equal to what? 4e raised to power 2x sine 4x. Okay, let's go. Uh, don't forget, dy dx is now saying, leave the first one, which is 4e raised to power 2x. Differentiate the second one. Differentiation of sine 4x will give you 4 cos 4x. You can do it because it's chain rule. Plus, now leave the second one, which is sine 4x. Differentiate the first one. Differentiate the first one, which is what? Differentiate 4 e raised to power something will give you 8 e raised to power that thing. Okay, <laughs> you see you are done. So I'm having what? 16 e raised to power 2x cos 4x plus 8 e raised to power 2x sine, sine what? Sine 4x. So what is common is what? 8 e raised to power 2x. What is the remaining here is what? 2 cos 4x plus what? Sine 4x. You see? So they are the same answer. So just follow the normal method. Okay. So the next question. Have we done uh, log with him? Okay, no. So let's do log with him. Um, y is equal to maybe e raised to power 4x uh, lean lean sine x <laughs> okay this one I think this is the last question we are going to solve for okay we'll solve one more question one more question okay so I'm going to have uh, let u be the first one e raised to power 4x then my v will now be what lean sine x okay so let's go du the x will give you what? 4 e raised to power 4x. Uh, dv, the x will give you. Differentiate the bracket before differentiating everything. Differentiate sine x, I'm having cos x. Differentiate the sine x will give you 1 over sine x. So sine x cos x will give you what? Uh, cot, cot x. Cot x. According to trigonometry, sine over cos is tan. But cos over sine is cot. Go to my video on trigonometry. So the next thing we are going to do is to multiply. So dy dx said, if you say u, then say dv dx. Plus, you will not say v before you say the u dx. Okay? So let's go. What do I have? u is e raised to power 4x. dv dx is cot x. Plus, v. v is what? Lane sine x then du dx is what 4e raised to power 4x so 
uh, we can factorize what is common between here and here is e raised to the power of 4x. So what is remaining here is what? Cut, cut x plus 4 lean sine x. Okay, so that is that. We're going to solve one more question here before we go to the next uh, rule, which is uh, the quotient rule. The quotient rule. So let's solve one more question. One more question I'm going to solve said y is equal to uh, 3x plus 5 and uh, 2, uh, sorry, and e raised to power x, then sine 4x. You see now, they are 3 in number. If they are 3 in number, the same method, dy, <laughs> dx, is as good as saying y is equal to maybe, uh, maybe say, u, u, v, and w. So if it is u, v, and w, you say that the y, the x is what? u, v, collect these two. Then the last person will now be what? The w, the x, plus, which, which one I'm going to collect again? Let me collect these two. U, W. So I'm going to say what? DV, DX. Plus, the last one should be what? V, W. Then DU, DX. The same thing. It doesn't change. So let me use shortcut. I don't want to go far. Let me use shortcut. So DY, DX said, take these two. Differentiate this one. Plus, take this, uh, take this two. Differentiate this one. Plus, take this two. Differentiate this one. Okay? As simple as that. Let me take these two first. If I'm taking... 3x plus 5 and e raised to power x. I'm differentiating this one to give me uh, 4 cos 4x plus which one again? Let me take these two. I'm taking 3x plus 5 with sine 4x. If I differentiate e raised to power x, I'm getting e raised to power x. It doesn't change. Okay? Plus, let me take the last two now e raised to power x and sine 4x. So if I'm differentiating this one, I'm getting just 3. So if I clear the bracket, I will see that, um, before clearing the, okay, let me clear the bracket to have, let me arrange it very well. I'm having 4, um, 4 e raised to power x, open bracket, 3x, or let me write it like this. Let me write like this. 4 bracket 3x plus 5, then e raised to power x cos 4x plus, this one is what? Uh, 3x plus 5, e raised to power x sine 4x plus 3 e raised to power x sine 4x. Okay, so that is the answer. Or you bring out e raised to power x as the factor, then you factorize. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. In our next video, we'll talk about quotient rule. God bless you.